Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we have Corgan Bloodaxe in our party, and I need to turn off his AI. We want to make sure that he doesn't uh, use his Berserk ability when we don't want him to. What do you want, Growling? He's the first evil member of our party mm. that isn't Terry. Mm. We're going to be getting more of them pretty soon for we're going to be spending a little bit of time finding all of the people that we want in our team. We do have an objective, a very long-term one. We need to accumulate 20,000 gold. A lot easier said than done. We're going to be giving that to Galen Bale, who in turn will give that gold to somebody who will help us find where Emowyn and Irenicus have been taken, and hopefully help us get there. But for now, we're going to leave and head over to the government district. We can now go to every single area in Athcatla. We can also go outside of Athcatla as well. Like to watch us keep, we are not going there. Instead, we're going to the government district. Now, dependent upon where you go from and where you go to in Athcatla, yeah, certain events will occur. Usually random encounters that aren't so random because they are set to take place. They only happen once, and normally they're there to give you some experience and also give you the opportunity to get some good loot. We're going to head over here, and you can see some pyres there. And I think to call this civilization? <laughs> Blasted bloody humans. Corgan doesn't have a very high opinion of most people. Most of our party aren't going to have a high opinion of most people. As we accumulate them, you'll see why. We're going to save because an event that uh, took place in Baldur's Gate 1 mm. is going to take place again. Though this time, the stakes are going to be much higher. Pun not intended. As we move over to this pyre and see the scene that has developed. The small crowd of, I think, four people and this fanatic. A little closer. Look ye all upon this. Foul drow that we have found before ye, a creature of evil and darkness, my brethren, a creature of foulness and deceit, bent only on our destruction. This creature has foolishly come amongst us, my brethren, thinking that we would be lax in our senses. Tell me what should be done with it. And what does the mob cry? Burn it! I burned the elf! Her dark and fiendish kin rose up from their underground homes and killed my father and brother! They are all evil, I tell you, all of them! I mean, you're not wrong in the case of this drow. This drow is evil. But considering that your name is Fanatic, we can take a good guess as to the amount of research you've done into what evil Vaconia has actually done. For yes, this is Vaconia. Once again, she is being persecuted for the crime of being a drow. Then the drow shall burn! Gather round, my brethren, and witness the will of Bashava triumph over foul evil! You Riven are mad! I have done nothing to any of you! I seek only to make my way without molestation! Why have you done this? Why? Done nothing? You are a drow elf, are you not? That is as good a reason as any! No, no, that's not how that works. You have the same mindset as that uh, Flaming Fist soldier that we encountered in the first game. And his fate is much like how yours is going to be. Ye shall be silent, evil one! The power of the Maid of Misrule will be demonstrated here today! Burn her now! Burn her! No! Now! Olaf Blindial! Spout your evil speech if ye must, Drow, but prepare yourself for your journey into the next world. Beg for forgiveness, beg for salvation, and hope that the cleansing fire will save ye. Have no love for Drow, or for this Drow in particular, but it seems that she has done nothing to deserve this fate other than simply be a Drow. This is not justice. Indeed, it is not Jahira, and we're going to write this. But first, let's get Shaw, closer. My deliverance is in your hands. Wait, I recognize you. 
It is I, Vaconia de Vere. You must remember, my life depends on it. Please, Terry, I beg of you, save me from these madmen. Oh, we will. Kneel and repent. Join us, my lady, and rejoice in our righteous destruction of this most unholy entity. Behold the forces of good triumphant! What has this drow done? What crime is she accused of? What crime? The crime of being dark and evil, of course. Look on her, fool! Her skin is black with the stain of her foul soul. She is a drow, and all drow deserve no mercy. We found her in the market, attempting to hide her identity. No doubt a spy. We have taken the law into our own hands, and it is good. No, no it is not. If a paladin used to detect evil right now, you might indicate as to being evil. Just maybe. Stand aside and watch, or join us if you wish, my lady. Either way, justice will be done. Since we know that combat is going to happen, the axe be bloody ready. Let's position ourselves for it. I'll be paid well for this. You'll be paid very well throughout it our adventures. Okay. Don't worry. It is done. You're going there. You point. Where You're going here. Evil You're going here. On the head of a pin and we're well. going here. We need to move quickly, though. Yeah. For there is a time limit, and if we wait for too long, they will burn Vaconia and she will die. You see an elvish woman, a drow tied to a stake. A mob of people stand near. The occasional shout of burn her comes from the crowd. Anger and fear cross the drow's countenance. You could cut her down if you wish, but this will surely anger the crowd. Let us see justice be done, and free her. Praise the goddess. My thanks for your timely intervention. Boldly, you walk up to the stake and cut down the woman. The armed people turn their ire towards you. What are you doing? Why have ye interfered with the judgment of Beshaba? Her will must be shown to the people. Allies of the foul creature. Allies of the drow. This can never be allowed. The drow dies. Oh dear. Mob of four. What will you do? <coughs> Run for it. Sound idea. Insertion. Combat is upon us. Imperial attack here. Arms. Attack Not there. Worse. Attack here. And attack here. This is not a difficult fight. Vaconia will be helping us, and uh, they are primarily melee combatants. They do have some ranged capabilities, as you can see here, and they can hurt with their attacks, but ultimately, we are more than capable of finishing off these people. There's now only one, and soon there'll be none. I owe you my life, Abiyu. You have saved me once again. I did nothing to provoke their attack, I tell you. I was passing through the city when the man guessed my identity under my hood. I was surprised, and he called out to others, ravening me. I suppose they assumed I was here to spy on them. Fools. They are so quick to fear these riven. But come, we must be on our way soon if we are to avoid drawing another crowd. I distrust these barbaric people too much to hang about. It would be both a privilege and an honor to join you, Terry. What say you to my proposal? Truth be known, I am not opposed to having Vaconia travel with us. Remember, though, that many will think less of us simply because she is here, including Minsk, because he is good. Our lowering of our reputation when Vaconia joins us, much like in the first game, will make him unhappy. We have saved her, and she is our responsibility. What if she was captured again? Neither Boo nor I could live with ourselves. No, she must come, and yet he is very adamant that she come with us. I can survive, adult one. I was taken by surprise today, but I have been among Riven secretly for quite some time, but neither do I object to travelling with you. The decision ultimately is Terry's. Have a backbone, Terry. Take me with you and I will fight by your side. Together we shall vanquish all. Certainly. I trust you'll be a worthy addition to our cause. Callus Usa, intrepid one. A spirited campaign and a pitiless slaughter of our foes await. Sharthul Mala. One thing, Vaconia. I intend to hunt a powerful wizard by the name of Arenicus. It will be good to have you by my side. Good. I have little to do, and your hunt for this maid shall prove a useful distraction. My power is yours, Terry, for as long as you desire. This behavior must not continue. Here's the burning stare of my capstar. Change away. 
first thing we're going to do is we are going to turn off your um, AI, because while you going to heal, um, Jahira is appreciated, I'd like full control of your abilities. You have 10 strength, 19 dexterity, 8 constitution, 16 intelligence, 18 wisdom, 14 charisma. Yes, Abil. Your hit points are lacking, but yeah. that is just like uh, how it was in the first game. Let us loot some things, starting with a suit of plate mail. Plate mail is very much a welcome sight. We also could do with all of this as well, and generally looting everything. I just can't carry any more. I'm sure somebody will. Like you! Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle! There we go, and there's a sword. Let us start equipping things, starting with that plate mail. It'll give us the same armor class that we uh, already have, but if we give you this armor... There you go, your armor class is now one. We can now take this away from you and give it to ourselves, giving us an armor class of minus three. You can have this helmet. You can also have this uh, there. Brilliant. And you can also have this. This small shield will be adequate for you. You can't actually use a um, medium shield because your strength is not high enough. We'll give you a shield here. Don't worry about that. You have some splint mail. We don't have a mace for you, which is a shame, but we can give you that sling. There we go. Actually, let's give you all of these uh, sling bullets as well. There we go. You can have these. And actually, for now, I think giving you a quarterstaff would be a decent idea, but we need Jahira to have that one. I think we're as equipped as we can be, which is good. You have that. I am yours to command. Let's do some healing. You have a lot of spells available for healing. You should actually keep uh, healing Jahira here. I'm going to do the healing before we uh, decide to rest, because we probably can't rest here. We'll heal you. Fortunately, nobody cares that we uh, engage these people in combat. The guards certainly don't mind. And so, we shall continue to heal, and then we shall go to another area. Healing here is important. We'll head back up to here, and I'm going to try and rest before um, going to the next area, but I get the feeling we are not going to be so fortunate. Especially with these guards literally being here, I doubt they're going to uh, allow us to set up a tent and do some resting. But we will save, because something will happen when we're out and about. Yes. But first we'll try resting. In the name of the Council, I am here to keep order. You there, find an inn or leave the city. I'll have no vagrants sleeping on the streets. We won't be doing any resting, and off he runs into that building to wait for us to try and rest again. Mm. Suffice to say, we're not going to be doing any resting here. Nothing to it. We are going to leave, however, and head over to the Temple District. Unfortunately, doing so you have been gets us in trouble. This is one of those encounters I was talking about, and we need to be very quick in taking care of these wizards, because the wizards are going to be a problem. The casters at the back are going to kill us, mainly using uh, lightning bolts. They do have lightning bolts, we don't want them to use them. You're going to go over there, you're going to go over here. Somebody does have a, uh, a bow there. Now you're going to cast, I think, less might actually be a good idea. Do that. You're going to uh, cast that, if you can actually uh, get that off. Your spell has failed. That is unfortunate. Just stay away for now then, because there's going to be some problems. A lightning bolt will just bounce around everywhere and potentially get us horribly killed. There's a lightning bolt. Stay away from it. 
For oh, stay away from it. Unfortunately, it killed all the casters. There are some uh, some things that just go right, and that was one of those things. We don't get the experience for killing those casters, but that's all right. That is fine. You just take care of this person. There we go. You don't get much experience for defeating these people anyway. You really shouldn't have done that. Using that lightning bolt just went... Bounce, 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 kapow. I can imagine them just going, well, that wasn't a smart idea. And a smart idea it was not. But we do get lots of gold. We also get quite a few things, like this short sword. And a magical mace. The magical mace is going to serve us very well, because that's an ideal weapon for Vaconia. A mace plus one. Perfect. Magical weapon in use. Fair enough, you can't use it right now. Let's keep doing some looting. I see a magic suit of plate mail. I also see some magical arrows, some short swords, lots of spells, and some magical arrows. Let's have you hold on to all of that. We'll uh, get it all into the, um, into the scroll case once we have checked everything. There's nothing more for us to grab. We've no idea why these people decided to come after us, only that they did. You can just run. There's no reason to run, though. Especially when there are goodies to be found. Like magic suits of plate mail. We don't know what this is, but it is, I do believe, a suit of uh, plate mail plus one. Hmm. Let's for now go this way. And continue heading to the Temple District. The Temple District is where we will get a uh, quite long quest started. There is the Temple of Helm, and there is the Temple of Lathanda, there's one for Talos, the entrance to the sewers, there are quite a few of them, a guarded compound, and the High Hall of the Radiant Heart, and the Pimlico Estate. We have been told of the Pimlico Estate by Corgan. Now that we've got past that, let's keep going. This way. There's someone we need to find. And that someone is not you. It's a nice place, though. Very serene. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters. Heed my words. We have been chosen as the recipient of a most holy miracle. One that should neither be dismissed nor ignored. Hello, quest that is about to happen. I... Gaul, I who have been stripped of my eyes most mercifully, have been shown the truth that has eluded the sighted. The gods that you worship are false gods, icons that serve to increase the wealth of churches and heathens. Listen to them not. And what of your god then, I presume, that you're going to inevitably tell people about? What's so good about this one? Hold, you speak of blasphemy. The Morning Lord Lathander has always shown his benevolence and power. His presence among us is unquestionable. Is it, priest? I ask all of you to question for a moment if what the priest says is true. Yes, his false god grants him power to fuel his spells, much as any wizard might possess. I say that the churches lie to you. They claim their gods are present when they do nothing other than require your coin to fill their pockets. No, what you're saying cannot be true. The gods have ever protected us. Hmm, is that so? Have they protected you from famine? Have they protected you from disease? Have they wrought harmony upon Faerun? No, they have not. They lie and cloud your sight to gain your worship of their false images. I have stripped myself of their foul eyes, and I see what is the truth. The truth, I tell you! You sound quite mad. It's probably because you are. You lie, you lie! The gods exist! In this setting, they certainly do. Such words are a horrid affront to the gods. Surely you will pay for this. Quiet! Listen to what he has to say. I call on you to abandon your false gods. They have done nothing for you. Cast them aside and join me on the true path. Join me in the calling of the true sight. To the minor cost that you have to pay. What, what was that 
mean? Shall we tear our own eyes out then? Don't be foolish. What shall we do then? Who shall we turn to if there's no gods? But there is a god. There is the true god. The unseeing eye is here amongst us. He offers the faithful a clarity of vision, the true path to the divine. He offers you protection and succor. If you're thinking there's something wrong with this whole thing of ripping out your own eyes to follow the true god, then you'd be right. Do not listen to him. He seeks to poison your minds. <sighs> what has your god ever done for me, eh? Hey? I'm poorer and no better off than I ever was. Don't speak to the priest in that tone. The gods will be offended. Don't you hear what he's saying? There are no gods to be offended. I'd say we see what this unseeing eye has to offer. I, I wish to see you. No, my friends, you do not wish to see. Forget what the years of lies have taught your eyes. You wish to know. You wish to learn. These are the truths that the unseeing eye can offer to you. A truer gift that you'll not find amongst any of these other so-called deities. Come, witness the miracle of the truth. Come and behold the unseeing eye for yourself, and see the true God that is present amongst us. No, do not go with him. I'll do as I wish. I want the truth. Show me the unseeing eye. Yes, show me. Come then, those of you who wish to become the truly faithful, to witness the magnificence of the unseeing eye and the truth he brings. Come with me. What are you doing? Are you mad? Quit your mouth, wench! Ah, if you do not wish to see the truth, that is your business. Come then, my faithful! Follow me! This must not come to pass. The ever-seeing eye of Helm must be made aware of what they intend. You, I would speak with you. I would hire you as a mercenary in the service of Helm. I would prefer a woman of faith, but you will be adequate. Follow me to the Temple of Helm. I will discuss what is required of you there. Do not take long. Helm requires you now. Don't worry, we won't take long. We're just going to have a look around here first. By have a look around, I mean we're going to search for one person in particular. We'll know when we found him. Oh, trust me, we'll know. This is a long quest that, um, we Hello will be... There. You, you are Talon Nurkas, priest of Talos, are you not? Uh, y yes, yes I am. Why do you ask? You don't remember me? We laid together an evening many moons ago, and this here is your daughter, Lanny. Greet your father, darling. Hello, father. Uh, I, are you sure? I mean, I have no memory. You were deep into your cups that eve, Nurkas. Blame me not if you have no memory of the event. Uh, I... I see. What is it exactly that you want? I want you to take responsibility for your child, foolish man. <sighs> Mummy, I don't like this daddy. I like the other daddies better. The ruse has been revealed. Hush, child. What's this? <laughs> oh, nothing, Talon Nurkus. A simple mistake, perhaps, on my part. Please do excuse me. You are such trouble, girl. I see. Talos's blessings on you then, and, uh, good day. Let's keep looking around, shall we? Here is somebody. Not the person we're looking for. The person we are looking for will be found. And this is when the person we're looking for is not here, and then I'm very sad. But no, here he is. Dawn. Dawn Ilkhan. We want Dawn Ilkhan in our party. And this means we are saying goodbye to Minsk. Because we don't need Minsk anymore. We have somebody far better that we're going to get. Far better indeed. We'll pass this over to Vaconia. To Corgan. 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 All for Corgan. Everything for Corgan. You'll pick that up for me, won't you? We'll have this over here. You can carry that. Your inventory is nearly uh, to the point of encumbrance, but not quite. 
you can have a sword, and this, and that. Brilliant. Who says, what? Curse the luck. My spell was foul. Let us, uh, reform our party, shall we? Goodbye. You have served us well, but we no longer require you. Who needs to know? Did you want us to remain with the group? No, I think you should go. Boo does not like goodbyes, but I know we will meet again. Until then, I will seek the small and fuzzy to console Boo. Where do you want to meet up again? Go to the Copper Coronet. We will meet you there if we need your services again. And off he goes. You know we're never going to ask for you again. Ever. Yeah. Farewell! Hello, Dawn. Whatever you want. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you, Dawn. It hasn't been so long. Surely you remember me. Of course. It's been a while. I am pleased to see that you haven't been strangled to death with your own wit. It has. What finds you skulking around here? You're not seeking redemption after a life of crime and violence, are you? Given your exploits, that ship has sailed. I think we'll go with that. What business is that of yours? Perhaps I sense an opportunity. And what opportunity would that be? The opportunity to help a powerful friend and ally. And to have that friend and ally in my debt. Hmm. Tis true, we could make quicker work of this together than apart. Uh, what is this this that you are referring to? I'm sure we'll figure out, Dawn. We can't work with such as this, Terry. Have you forgotten all that Gorion taught you? Not all of it, Jahira, but Gorion is gone. I am my own woman now. I have roamed the Sword Coast, seeking my fortune and occasionally doing as my patron bid me. I must admit, his occasional demands are becoming more frequent. But the power he supplies is surely worth the effort. At first, I enjoyed the work. Drunk on the power Ur Gothas provides. But now? Now, it matters not. My patron demands the death of Bullard Firejar, or the Order of the Golden Lions. He demands it happen here in the Temple of the Radiant Heart, and he demands it happen soon. Your patron's a pretty demanding person, isn't he? He is. I won't deny that it can be frustrating. We can either say that um, there must be other ways to acquire this power, or, well, the church is right there, shall we just go do it? Let's see if we can find other ways. I understand, but there must be other ways to acquire this power. That's easy for you to say, Paul Spahn. Not all of us had the good fortune to be born to power. For the rest of us, tis better to have power and seek more than have none and clutch at any. In this world, the wise seize what they can when they're able. But enough talk. I believe the church awaits. I find this a most satisfactory arrangement. Overconia is happy. Aye, this be a grand enough lot. Mayhap I won't be needing to kill y'all any time soon. <laughs> Our reputation has gone down. It's not that great, but it's good enough for us. We have Dawn Ilkhan in the party once again, and he has the Rancor plus one. Thacko plus one plus two if it has slain someone within the past 24 hours, and when he holds the blade, any death that it causes has a chance to grant Dawn an increase of plus one to his to hit rolls for 24 hours. He is the equivalent of an evil paladin. Strength 19, Dex 16, Constitution 14, Int 10, Wisdom 15, Charisma 16, Resist Fear, Negative Plane Protection. Hmm. Let's turn off his AI. We have another member of our team. We have our front line. I will listen for now. Let's move you to there. And let's think about moving all of this stuff off you. Anymore. You'll pick that up for me, won't you? Because I get the feeling that Jahira is not going to be happy to be in this team for very long. Our alignment is slowly dropping. And that's not good for us buying things. It's also not good for us, um... 
not getting into trouble with the cowled wizards. Let us open the container and uh, put a lot of scrolls in. There we go. That's sorted. And we'll give you these things. And we might as well get some more scrolls. Just check for them. Nope, no more scrolls for us to uh, have a look at. But I think handing you some potions might be a good idea. Just have a feeling that maybe uh, maybe Jahira won't be here for much longer. So we have a quest to go and kill someone. These are the kind of quests that we're going to be getting in this playthrough. Very evil quests indeed. And so, when we come back, folks, we have four of our party members. But we do require two more people. We require a replacement arcane spellcaster. And we require a replacement thief. We will get both of these in due time. But for now... Our stay had best be a short one. I mean, our stay might be here, might be quite a long one, but you're not going to be in the party long enough to figure out how long. Because you're going to be the next one to be got rid of. Unless we find the thief first, in which case Yoshiba will be the first one to be gotten rid of. And so, when we come back, folks, we have a quest to do. And it's going to be a very violent one at that. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. It's good to have the party slowly reassembling. We won't get everyone back that we used to have, but we'll get as many people back as we can. And there'll be one more in our future that we know of quite well. Very well. Later.